So Beth, it's been a while since you and I have even gotten together, right. let alone hiked. Yep. So I'm this happy. is... I'm happy. But it's always like that for us, the stars align. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I admittedly, in true INFJ fashion, yep. have been a little bit more... Um, I've been needing a little more me time. Me too. And Last hiding week. out in my house a little bit more than yeah. normal. You took more than a week, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it was okay. It's all good. Beth and I had allowed a few months to pass since we had gotten together, so it took us a bit to find our vibe. Beth, I'm picking up a, 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 an unusual energy from you <laughs> today. What is okay. that? What is that? I don't know. I'm just. Are you a little anxious, or maybe it's me? No, I'm good. You know, I'm happy. Something's on your mind. <laughs> Am I right? No, I'm laughing because I want to tell you about the rabbit. <laughs> we eventually found our vibe, along with a shady spot atop the summit, where our conversation drew upon our recent people connections. I started writing about this because I want to start documenting those about the gentleman I met camping, who um, I felt like we shared a connection with. He hadn't, he had, yeah. he had, he had gotten the throat yeah. cancer and had given up singing, and then yeah. he saw me Maybe pull out my guitar. Just the story. <laughs> right. It was just such a. Yep. I come home after something like that happens to me and I feel for days afterwards mm -hmm. like such a feeling of <laughs> like a serenity almost like a like a fulfillment of something I have had that and I'm still doing I'm still reeling from what happened there was um you know I do eBay it's yes. a lot of fun for me and I was selling a leather vest and I just listed like biker leather vest because I'm you ride bikes. And yes, that yeah. to be the yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah, you wear. Yes, yeah. And um, there was someone that they were doing like a ha what I thought was a haggling thing, and I kind of didn't want to participate. Right. I'm used to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I thought, wait a minute, Beth. Maybe this person isn't a jerk. Maybe you're the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really like, yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought about it, like, because you know what you're feeling, you're projecting. Yes. And, yes. Um, and in fact, it turned out I was the jerk because. The guy said, well, I'm, I'm a veteran, and I just, I wanted you to know I'm not a biker. I'm just going to sew some patches on. Yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I realized he's not haggling just for the sake of haggling. He's just trying to get the price down because that's what he can afford. Yeah. I checked with my heart. Yeah. And then I found that the value would, that I would actually get more out of it if I just sent it to him and um but I didn't want to let go of him like I said so I found him on Facebook <laughs> stalker <laughs> I, said, I said did you get those patches yet Bernie and he goes I'll send you a picture when I do he goes I just sent away for him us being introverts sometimes it's the anxiety to go out and be put yourself in settings this can be overwhelming but when if I don't get myself out there then I there's connections like those that I miss. Our conversation continued by us expressing our thoughts on happiness and our shared belief that we're all in charge of our own experiences. I was listening to a um I wish I remembered his name so he, he's he was a convict he was wrongly convicted of murder in Alabama and he spent 30 years on death road death row and he just he, he wrote a book it's called the sun does shine and I wished I remembered his name but I heard an interview with him and he talks about how he made it through those thir he was in a five by seven cell for 30 years and he said he lived in his mind mm. like he he had all these like, like Victor Frankl you can look him up too from the Holocaust like same he, thing right he not only did he do that for himself but he created it for other people so they had something too, like yep. they could go somewhere in their mind. Right. Got the music. Like, let's just pretend it's. Yes. I'm a teacher. And you're yes. A yes. Yeah. You bring your joy and your passion with you. Right. Right. So when I talk about, you know, when I had that realization, like I don't need any of this material stuff around. Right. Like, right. I have me, and I have I have that spirit that's in me that wants to continue to make myself better and, and, and survive and, and be a flourishing person. If you did have to change your life, 
you would be creating your experience. Mm -hmm. It would be a good experience. Yes. You would make a home wherever the same, and you would make your children feel the exactly. same. Exactly. And, and um, just like yeah. that person in prison made yeah. his experience. He made right. his experience. Right.